This is my mother's favorite story about her troubles with the French language. Everyone who knew her well has heard this, had heard this story at least two dozen times. It's called Mon mari est en chaleur. <laughs> Upon first arriving in France, Jim bought an adorable Mercedes two-door sports convertible, which he loved very much. When I was born at the American Hospital in Neuilly, he drove Gloria and me, their brand new miracle baby, home to the newly decorated apartment on the Ile saint louis He made Gloria sit in the back, which was not really a back seat, but a storage shelf. She sat there folded practically in two with me on her lap, her neck bent at an excruciating angle because of the low convertible roof. He drove so slowly that he almost caused several car accidents because the French, being highly impatient and volatile drivers on their best day, were honking and shouting and giving him the up yours signal the whole way. Gloria pointed out that maybe it was time to buy a different car now that they had a family. This thought had apparently never crossed my father's mind. A few weeks later, as they were driving in the city, they got into a heated argument and about what Gloria never could remember. They yelled at each other. She told him to go fuck himself and punched him in the arm. At the red light, he pulled the emergency brake, got out, slammed the door, and walked away. Gloria slid over into the driver's seat, but she'd never driven the little car, and it stalled out. The light turned green, and now the French drivers behind her were really pissed off, shouting and honking up a storm. The commotion brought over a spiffy young policeman who bent down to the open window, saluting, and politely asked my mother, Alors, qu'est-ce qui se passe, madame? Basically, what's the problem, madam? Gloria, harried and upset, responded, Mon mari est en chaleur. My husband is in heat, she said. <laughs> Instead of, mon mari est en colère, my husband is angry. Eh bien, vous en avez de la chance, madame. Rentrez vite chez vous. You're very lucky, ma'am. Rush home. <laughs> Get home quickly. And he doffed his cap and walked away. 